Hey everyone, welcome back to Math with Diego, where we make learning as easy as a walk in the zoo. Today we're diving into a wild new strategy to multiply two digit numbers. We're gonna do five problems, each getting more and more difficult. So stick around until the end so that you can make sure that you're ready to ace your exam. Let's get started. Before we start to multiply, I first need to teach you exactly what each of these letters means. And not only that, but what is the easiest way to remember this strategy? So first, the M stands for multiply. The Z stands for zero. The M stands for multiply and the A stands for add. Now, how are we gonna remember these letters? Well, super simple, super easy. All you have to remember is many zoos, many animals. Multiply zero, multiply add. If you follow those steps, no matter how hard the multiplication problem is, I guarantee you that you will get it right. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is multiply. You're like, obviously, there's an X there. I know I have to multiply. That's why I'm watching this video because I don't know how to multiply. Relax. So first step is multiply. You're going to get the number that is in the ones place, which right now is a two, and you're going to multiply it with all the numbers that are on top. So two times three is six. We go on to our tens place. Two times two is four. So now that I'm done, Multiplying the two, in order for me to multiply the one, I have to add a zero. Why? Because you're not really multiplying one times three, you're actually multiplying 10 times three. And why 10? Because the number one is in the tens place. Now that we're done with step two, we go to step three, and the M stands for multiply. So now you're gonna multiply your tens place which is the number one with the ones place and the tens place. So one times three is three and one times two is two. Exactly. All that we have left to do is A, which stands for add. So six plus zero is six, four plus three is seven, and two plus nothing is two. So how did we solve this? Using the many zoos, many animals strategy, which stands for multiplication zero, multiplication add. Now let's go on to the next problem. Now we have 34 times 27, and we go back to our step number one, which is multiply. So seven times four is 28. The eight goes at the bottom, but what about the two? Do we put it down here? No way. No way, Jose, never. So seven times four is 28. You have to regroup the two. All that it means is that you have to put the two up here. So seven times four is 28. And now we're gonna do seven times three is 21, plus two is 23. Now, before we go on to the next step, here's a pro tip. If you want to make multiplication as easy as possible, you have to, you have to, you have to memorize your multiplication facts. The more you study your multiplication facts, the easier it'll be to multiply two digit numbers by two digit numbers. Now that we've done step one, we can get rid of this plus two. Erase it, scratch it out, but please do not leave it there. Why? Because right now, when we multiply two times four and two times three, you don't want to get confused by that plus two. Trust me, you'll save yourself a lot of headaches. The next step is zero. Remember, before you go on to your next place value, you have to put a zero. Because you're not really multiplying two times four, you're actually multiplying 20 times four. Now you don't see it while it's happening, but that's why we put a zero. So now that we put our zero, we can move on to our next step, which is to multiply. So two times four is eight. Good job, two times four is eight. We don't have to regroup. We only regroup when the number is 10 or higher. But two times four is eight. Two times three is six. 
We're done with our third step and our last step is to add. Eight plus zero is eight. Eight plus three is 11. We regroup. Six plus two is eight plus one is nine. So 34 times 27 is 918. Another pro tip before we go on to the next problem. Pro tip. Anytime you do math, you have to be organized. When I was younger, this is what I would struggle with the most. My paper looked like a zoo. There was numbers here, there was numbers there. My, I would line up my numbers, but crookedly, it was, it was a mess. And because of that, easy problems like this, I would get them wrong because I would confuse the numbers. So here's the pro tip. Please be organized. Line up your place values with your place values. You see how my ones are lined up? My tens are lined up? My hundreds are lined up? You have to do that for yourself so that when it comes time for you to take your exam, you won't get confused, you won't get scared of all the numbers, you know exactly what to do. Now we have 46 times 58. I'm not gonna tell you what those letters stand for, or the easy way to remember. Now I'm gonna ask you, what is an easy way to remember these four steps? Exactly, many zoos, many animals. Many zoos, many animals. Now what do the letters stand for? Multiply, zero. Multiply, add. Multiply, zero. Multiply, add. Step one, multiply. Eight times six is 48. We make sure to regroup and then A times four is 32 plus four. Don't forget this plus four is 36. Before we go on to step two, which is to add a zero, remember, erase this plus four. Yes, it's extremely important to regroup, but once we're done, get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. Now that we're done with step one, we go to step two which is to add a zero, and that's all we will do. After step two comes step three, which stands for multiply exactly. Here's a virtual high five for paying attention and doing a good job, and not only that, but for still watching the video. Five times six is 30. We make sure to regroup, very important. Five times four is 20, plus three. Remember to get that plus three is 20. Three. Step three is done. Now we do step four, which is add. So eight plus zero is eight. Six plus zero is six. Three plus three is six. Two plus zero is two. So when we multiply 46 times 58, we get 2,668. One thing I would like for you to notice is that perhaps the first problem, you were a bit scared, you were afraid, you saw all the numbers, it was confusing. But then the second problem, it didn't look as scary. You were like, okay, I follow these steps, I regroup, I add. And now, if you notice, the more problems we do, the easier it gets. You notice that, hey, as long as I follow my steps, I'll be fine. If I get stuck somewhere, I can go back to my steps and see, oh, you know what? I think I forgot to add a zero. Oh man, you know what? I think I forgot to regroup. And if you do that, you're gonna do great on your exam. You got this, you can do it, let's go. So step one is multiply, exactly. Four times nine is 36. We must make sure we regroup that three. Super important. Four times seven is 28, 29, 30, 31. Excellent. Next, we erase the plus three. Step two is zero, simple. All you do is add a zero. For step three, we have to multiply. Six times nine is 54. We make sure that we regroup. Why? Because when I multiply six times seven, I get 42. If I just put 42 here, it'll be wrong. I have to add this plus five. Six times seven is 42, plus five is 47. We're done with step three. 
all we have left to do is to add. Six plus zero is six, four plus one is five, seven plus three is 10. We make sure to regroup. So seven plus three is 10, four plus one is five. Last but not least, we have 91 times 87. If you've made it this far, I wanna congratulate you and tell you that your hard work, dedication, and persistence is going to pay off and you have nothing to worry about. Step one, multiply. Seven times one is seven. No need to regroup. You only regroup when the answer is 10 or above. So now we do seven times nine, we get 63, but that's the last number that we have to multiply, so we just put it down here. Now that we're done with step one, we go to step two, which is to add a zero, exactly. And then we go to step three, which is to multiply. Eight times one is eight. Eight times nine is 72, okay? Last but not least, add. Zero plus seven is seven. Eight plus three is 11. And because the number is 10 or greater, I have to regroup. So eight plus three is 11. I put the one up here and the other one down here. Two plus six is eight. Plus one is nine. Seven plus zero is seven. So 91 times 87 is 7,917. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to continue learning, check out this video and this video. But before you go, always remember that you are smart, you are loved, and you can do it. Until next time.